8.1, numbers 24 and 25. Find the fourth roots for the following problems. Now we're going to be using the properties on the right here, which are just like the square root properties, but they are different than the cube root properties. So for a fourth root, for positive or zero values of a, you get a real number answer. For negative values of a, or in other words, a negative inside the radical, you get not a real number. So let's take a look. Fourth root of 16. So we want a number times itself four times. It gives us the insides of 16. So the answer would be 2. Because 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 equals 16. And let's see what happens if we have the negative instead. We want a number times itself four times. It gives us the 81, minus 81. Well, just like when we had a square root, we can't multiply a number times itself four times and get a negative out of it. Now, if we wanted to think about what gives us the fourth root of 81, just a positive 81, it would be 3. But we can't do positive 3, because 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, four times, is positive 81. We can't use negative, because negative 3 times itself four times still gives us positive 81, All right? So we're stuck. So the answer is not a real number. And for the fourth roots, just like with the cube roots, get comfortable using your calculator. Um, figure out what buttons you have to press in order to get the fourth root out so that you don't have to do a whole lot of trial and error uh, figuring out what the fourth root is. And the summary for what gives you a real or a not real root, depending on whether you have a positive or negative inside the root, goes like this. For negative values of a, the nth root is not going to be a real number if n is even. So in other words, a square root of minus 4 or a fourth root of a negative 16 or whatever, 6th root, 8th root, they're all going to give you not real numbers. The nth root of a negative value of a does give you a real number if you have odd values. So we could have cube root of minus 27, for example. That would give us a real number. Uh, we could have, let's see, a fifth root. Let's do 2 to the fifth would be 32, fifth root of minus 32, that would give us a real number. That'd be minus 2, that'd be minus 3. And these are both not real. So just keep that in mind as you're going through the problems.